Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as DevOps engineer. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the Terraform target command and uh, we are going to uh, do the deployment through target and do the destruction as well from the target command. So what is the use case uh, for using that particular command? For instance, uh, if you want to deploy specific module and if you want to destroy a specific module, we can do that. For instance, in past I've created a um, video regarding the EKS cluster setup. I have done that. For that, I've created the VPC. I've created EKS cluster. I've created the secret manager. I've created the RDS and I've created the security groups, right? So what is the use case uh, that we are going to use different command rather than using the terraform apply command or using the terraform destroy command to destroy all the infrastructure for instance in one account you have multiple environment for instance uh, you might have prod environment and you want to create an, another prod environment let's say live one so uh, that live one has a dependency that you have created uh, prod secrets for instance just assume or it's an example you have created secrets which are going to be the same secret which are going to be consumed by the other environment for instance you created secrets in the prod environment and the same secrets are going to be consumed by the new environment live right so instead of creating again and again same secrets what we can do uh, use the terraform apply command for instance i'm going to show you um, the command from where you can apply different modules and destroy uh, different resources for instance once your uh, live one environment is active and you want to get rid of uh, the old prod environment or decommission the old environment which is no longer required because definitely you are not using it and the resources you don't want to be keep running and it is going to be very inefficient to keep the sources running and is going to you know cost um, regarding the bill so but from that prod environment we want to get rid of rds security groups uh, eks cluster v, uh, vpc right but we want to retain for instance these are secret manager which we set up in prod environment because these secrets are going to be consumed by the new live environment right so we don't want to destroy this so how we can do that first of all i'm going to show you how we can um, apply a different module for instance let's say um, i want to apply a uh, i want to apply a vvc module right so i'm going to use this name so the name of the module for instance is vpc so uh, in fact it is not vpc it is eks underscore vpc so what command i'm going to uh, do terraform apply dash target module dot eks underscore vpc right so instead of creating the whole infrastructure i i'm just creating the one module for instance I've already set up uh, a module and I'm going to create that. Although it is asking me uh, for the VPS cluster name, what I'm going to do, I'm going to press Control C and I'm going to source this uh, EKS environment file, which I've already covered in my EKS module. But uh, this is the use case uh, regarding, for instance, uh, okay, I'm going to use the OS2 Unix because it is mounted in window file system. So, Again, I'm going to source this guy and I'm going to now use this same command. Let's see uh, what would be the output. So I'm looking to apply the same module. So it is going to, of course, ask me for the RD secret, which I've already covered in my video. So I'm going to provide this, right? So.
let's see what resources we are going to um, apply by creating this command and i'm going to show you how you can do the destruction as well so you can set up all the infrastructure by the same command and you can simply use this command to simply create a vpc you see so currently what we are going to do um, so this vpc will be created you see i mean um, subnet route table whatever it is but it is not going to create the other resources for us in similar way we can do the destruction as well so let me first of all uh, say yes so what happened it is going to create a vpc for us so let me navigate to the account it is sandbox environment so you can navigate to uh, a vpc section simply click this guy and let me show you that so as the resources are so much we have eks cluster and you know secret manager and all of the stuff but what it is going to do it's not going to set up all the infrastructure uh, for this command for instance if i navigate to this uh, vpc section click vpc so it is going to only create this vpc for us so if i navigate to the ek setup right so there will be no eks cluster uh, which is going to be deployed so the concept to share with you guys is simple is that uh, i mean um, if you have a um, resource which has a dependency of other environment how or which commands you can use to set up or destroy or create your infrastructure so this video is all about that so you see we are only setting up a vpc with one nat gateway and if i navigate to the vpc section currently we are setting up one nat gateway and it is in pending state and once it's done uh, it will uh, give us the output of that particular vpc then what we are going to do instead of creating the whole infrastructure as this is the demo and the concept regarding the terraform apply and destroy command and how we can uh, use the back end to you know retain the resources what we need and we don't what we want to destroy so uh, this command is all about that so um, when that vpc is created i would like to create this um, secret manager for us right so let me do that So um, for that we need this uh, KMS RDS MySQL secret key. So VPC is going to be almost created. What I'm going to do, I'm going to simply copy this module and let it complete. You see, VPC is created and we have all the setup regarding the VPC. Now I'm going to use the same command terraform apply dash target. Target module dot this module. I want to create a KMS key which need uh, which is needed by this module um, RDS secret. So let me navigate to uh, the KMS section and show you that it is going to simply create a KMS key. It asks me for this password. I I, have, I can create an environment variable for that. But I'm not doing it because uh, this is not our focus. Um, as this uh, RDS uh, setup, I've already covered. So uh, do not focus on this. Currently, what we are going to do, uh, we are going to navigate to our KMS section, for instance. Simply type KMS here, which is the key management service. So what it does, it is going to create a single kms key for us in this account right and um, if i navigate to the customer manage keys so forget these error uh, because i'm using the sandbox environment you are watching these errors so eks cluster kms key so it was created by someone else so what we are going to do we are going to create two resources you see 
uh, AMS uh, uh, AWS scheme key default. So this is the name of that particular key which we are going to create and um, these are the tagging, uh, sorry, tags. So it is currently creating a key for us in the account. So let me uh, simply do the refresh. So seems like it is created. So if I navigate to this uh, refresh button section, so let me remove these. Uh, so, um, okay, so symmetric key, uh, and this is the name of that is going to be uh let me see you see um should be uh audience uh, must sequel so let me refresh this again so is this the alias okay so it is created today by this uh october 2 so we have this key created and we have now the outputs of um bpc and key right so if i navigate back to the customer manage keys right okay this is the alias right so alias is going to be this rds so we have this uh, alias of this name, RDS MySQL key, and this is the alias. And this we are going to create, uh, we are going to use in the secret manager, right? So uh, this is the alias of that particular key. So now what we are going to do, simply navigate to the secret manager section. So currently we don't have anything there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create this um, RDS secret, right? Uh, module so as far as our concept regarding that so guys what i'm going to do i'm going to navigate to the secret uh, manager section sorry secret secret uh, uh, manager this is the one this is the part we are interested in and then i'm going to show you the stuff regarding that what we need and what we don't want for instance now uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to create uh, this module again for instance i'm going to use the same command right and i'm going to simply remove this kms section as we need this rds secret so we are going to create this rds secret right and although it has a dependency of that particular kms module which we have uh, already created so let me provide this key so what it does it is going to create a secret for the rds and it is going to be available in the secret manager right so let it create so we have created specific module from all the infrastructure we have in the main.tf file so we are you uh, i mean we are creating step by step by using this command and um, the whole concept behind this for instance as i already discussed that let's say we have uh, secrets which have dependency let's say for instance you have ecs environment and those secrets are going to be consumed by uh, the ecs service so we don't want to remove um, that uh, secrets because it is uh, consumed by the other environment right so what we are going to do we are going to for instance get rid of, of the vpc and but we don't want to remove those secrets so okay as uh, we got an error because it is saying that um, it cannot find a version of uh, this because uh, let me update this uh, okay navigate to the section of the mysql and type mysql so it says because it has a dependency of mysql as well so you see so resource this so we have to look uh, what is the error regarding the mysql and what version uh, it is complaining about for instance 
this is the MySQL version 5.7.17. So if I navigate uh, to the MySQL section, create database, and um, let's see what version we have available. Click on this guy and Okay, five. You see, this uh, version is not available. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, uh, let's say five seven dot t nine, right? So if I navigate to the RDS module and let me navigate to that particular module. So uh, instead of seventeen, I'm going to say t nine, and also I'm going to update the code as well. So let's try to use that particular command again. So it's gonna ask me for the password, so you don't have to concentrate on this guy. This is the way of tackling the, I mean, Terraform module, for instance, what error you are getting, you can, and those errors are going to be displayed on your screen. So you have to work on these, uh, those particular errors and try to find out the way how we can um, get rid of those issues. Uh, which the API actually uh, telling us to do. So you see, um, for instance, 5.7.17 version is not available anymore in that particular uh, console. So as this uh, tutorial I created in the past, so at that time that version is actually, or I should say was available. So uh, we don't have any issues uh, with regard to the version. So let's try to uh, do one more time. So uh, let's see what happened. So as you see, uh, it has the dependency of that particular uh, DB. So it is now creating that database as well. So it is now creating that particular uh, database as well. But on the other hand, uh, what it does, it is also, um, also have created the secrets for us. For instance, you see, this DB is now uh, spinning up, which is I'm calling, I mean, uh, DB identifier is my DB. So if I navigate to the secret section, uh, if I simply refresh it and navigate, click on the secrets, you see RD secrets are now available. So this is how we are actually setting up, uh, for instance, uh, these are the RD secrets. You see, uh, we are uh, setting up our modules step by step, not the whole infrastructure it is creating. Um, it only creates the module which we have asked for and the dependent modules are now set up. So uh, let it create and um, then what we are going to do, um, we are going to simply get rid of uh, one of the module which we don't require for, for instance, um, I'm going to destroy this uh, database, which uh, I don't have, uh, I don't want. For instance, currently what it does, it is creating this RDS MySQL for us. So once uh, this is done, I'm going to show you that particular command. And um, that would be the tutorial um, regarding how we can use that particular command and what is the use case. So let me pause the video till then, let it create. It will take some time. Um, I will be back in a moment. So guys, uh, till it is creating, let's try to um, get rid of, um, I mean, one module, but it will in the same shell, we can't do that. So let's finish because it is going to be uh, a conflict because your backend is actually, uh, is engaged and we are not using any, um, set up regarding the time dynamo db to you know avoid any conflicts so let it complete so guys uh, if you see this uh, rds sorry um, rds secret um, you see uh, we have provided the username and rds secret we have provided from the command line right which is uh, which was 1234567 but you see, as far as the host name, which is not yet actually available, 
so it has the dependency this module rd secret has the dependency of this particular module um, sorry um, this one rds mysql so that is why it created first it has automatically created this module first and once uh, everything is available it is going to add that particular endpoint of the rds in that particular secret and identifier is going to be also available so if i navigate to this uh, section of uh, secret manager right so rds spreads okay let me navigate to the secret section click on this uh, rds spreads right and retrieve secret value you see currently a secret value is not been set because as i discussed because rds creation is in place so you see it is still in creation state so it is modifying and it is going to be available soon but i just want to give you the concept as the module has a dependency of other modules to be created first so that is why uh, what has uh, been done it is uh, it has automatically created that uh, module for us although it is available we have uh, available in the main tf so it is automatically start deploying that particular module so um, once that's done uh, we will see that it has the endpoint which is uh, which is this one which is needed by that particular module so you see it is in still in the creation state so once that's done that uh, kms module is going to be um, okay with regard uh, to this information so let me update or highlight this uh, information right so let it finish and then i'm going to simply destroy the stuff So if I navigate to the secret section, you see if I again refresh it. So click this, you see value is not available. So let it complete and it is going to be uh, available soon because it is just, you know, modifying that particular guy. So once everything is okay, uh, we should be able to see that particular uh, module is going to be you know applied and available so okay we are almost there let it uh, instead of uh, i mean i'm pausing the video let it finish uh, finish so you will be able to um, see that what would be the output regarding that so let me refresh, refresh. So let me pause the video till then. It might take one minute or two. So guys, uh, the status is now available. Mm, we should be able to see that output, right? And if I navigate to the secret section and if i simply refresh this guy and i should be able to see the secret value uh, which is going to be available and you see these are the values and this is the output uh, regarding that uh, rds so so anyway what we are going to do um, as the concepts uh, regarding the terraform apply and destroy if you want to get rid of some uh, you know resources so for instance, um, let's say I'm going to simply want to destroy this um, uh, RDS uh, module, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say destroy, let's say destroy. I don't want to destroy uh, VPC, I want to retain it. So similarly, you have uh, different um, you know, requirement so but i just want to destroy this rds which i have created so let me provide the password so it is then gonna ask me for the rds and i just want to then 
and get rid of the secrets, but I don't want to uh, destroy the BBC module or EKS BBC module. So uh, this is the whole concept regarding that applying specific modules and uh, destroy specific module. And uh, if you want to decommission uh, certain environment, you can do that by slowly or gradually destroy specific module. For instance, start from the bottom and try to destroy one module and then later other module and uh, retain the, for instance, you want to retain any SSM secret or whatever you want to re retain, retain those secrets or any module you want to retain and simply exclude those and then um, simply remove the guy which we don't want uh, or you know this section so in this scenario it has the dependent module of rd secret uh, i mean secret manager it is going to destroy that as well as it is, you see it is saying to uh, destroy two which is the you know AWS secret manager and um, okay it is uh, doing the destruction of this module first so let's see so it has destroyed so uh, you see rds secret so what i have done uh, i have done the destruction regarding the secrets so if i navigate to the uh, secrets uh, manager section you see currently i don't have any secrets so and if you see uh, that that module is uh, still available regarding the secrets so uh, it has not destroyed that and if i navigate to that particular module regarding the destruction of um, for instance i want to obtain the vpc and uh, i've removed this uh, module only rd secrets and let's say i want to also remove this uh, database so i mean um, rd secret so i'm going to click this guy and use the same command so i want to retain my vpc and i'm i want to destroy uh, these two modules which i have created so it is going to ask me uh, the same stuff uh, regarding that and then i'm going to successfully de uh, destroy this particular module so uh, this is the way you can do uh, destruction or destroy and apply command. So although um, you can create all the infrastructure, but for instance, as I discussed, um, we have a scenario which we have dependency uh, of uh, one module uh, dependent on other environments. So this is the way we can control our backend and, and control our resources so we don't have any downtime. So that is it guys video, uh, uh, regarding the whole concept of this video. So I'm going to apply this and I'm going not going to cover all the distractions or let it uh, show the distraction regarding the RDS. So I'm going to only show you that and then I'm going to just uh, finish this video. Hopefully you like the video. If you like the video, like, share and subscribe the channel. And let me you see it is destroying one. Let me do that. It is the DB, the source DB. So let me do that. And it is not going to destroy any VPC for us. So simply what it is going to do, it is going to start destroying that particular uh, guy. So let it start. And then I'm going to close this video. So you see, uh, destroying the stuff regarding RDS. You see, it is deleting. Okay, guys, it will take some time. Hopefully, you understand the theory behind it. Thank you. Have a nice day.